Well, good morning. As the Dean of the College of Engineering, it's my pleasure to welcome you all here today as we recognize the College of Engineering's Spring 2012 Baccalaureate class. Before we begin, I'd like to recognize our platform officials. So when I call your name, please stand. Uh, Barry Butler, the Executive Vice President and Provost. Keynote speaker and Distinguished Engineering Alumni Academy inductee, Roger Cook. 
Sarah Vigmostad, Assistant Professor of Biomedical Engineering. David Murhammer, President and Chair of Chemical and Biochemical Engineering. Michelle Scherer, Professor and Chair of Civil and Environmental Engineering. Gary Christensen, Professor of Electrical and Computer Engineering. Andrew Kuziak, Professor and Chair of Mechanical and Industrial Engineering. Jane Dorman, Director of Admissions and the First Year Experience. Our student speaker, Scott White from Chemical and Biochemical Engineering. Matthew Boddicker, representing the Engineering Student Council. And finally, the Marshal, who's leading the graduates, Associate Dean of Academic Programs, Carrie Hornbuckle. All right. Thank you. This ceremony celebrates an important point in the life of our graduates and represents a new beginning of challenges that will draw upon the knowledge and experiences that they've gained as students here at the University of Iowa. Our graduates are very well prepared to meet the professional challenges and opportunities that they will encounter as engineers, and we take pride in their accomplishments. So I'd like to start by mentioning some of the accomplishments of this graduating class. The class includes eight students who are graduating with highest distinction, seven students graduating with high distinction, nine graduating with distinction, two students who have completed the requirements for the Technical Entre Entrepreneurial Certificate, and two students who completed the requirements for a Sustainability Certificate, nine students who fulfilled the requirements of an Honors Thesis, 120 students who have completed the requirements for a minor, and seven students who will graduate with a second major. Uh, these academic achievements uh, indicate the broad interests and diverse abilities of our very impressive students. But to mention a few more accomplishments, 19 of these graduates participated in the Student Leadership Institute, seven served the college as student ambassadors, 71 received credit for co-op or internship experiences. Um, finally, Many graduates have been actively involved in student organizations. Others have been involved in academic research. Some are varsity athletes. Some of the graduates have enriched our community through their volunteer efforts. Others have worked to fund their own education. And some are the first in their family to receive a college degree. So I think you'll agree that this list of activities and achievements is very impressive for a graduating class of 197 students. And I'm sure that there are some accomplishments that we left out when we compiled the list. But I guess it shouldn't surprise us since even a flood during the orientation in 2008 couldn't scare off this group of students. So graduates, these activities have enhanced your education far beyond the engineering curriculum. I congratulate each of you for your success here at the University of Iowa. The accomplishments and achievements of the graduates build from the devotion of talented faculty. This semester, these graduating seniors from each program selected a faculty member to be recognized today for their excellence in teaching and their dedication to student learning. So faculty, as I call your name, please come to the stage to be recognized. First of all, Nicole Grossland, Associate Professor in Biomedical Engineering. Charlie Stanier, Assistant Professor of Chemical and Biochemical Engineering. <laughs> Alan Bradley, Professor of Civil and Environmental Engineering. <laughs> Anton Kruger, Associate Professor in Electrical and Computer Engineering. Peter O'Grady, Professor in Electrical and Computer Engineering. And H.S. Uday Kumar, Professor of Mechanical Engineering.
So faculty, I want to thank you for your commitment to teaching and the outstanding results that you have achieved. The students clearly recognize your dedication and we've been delighted to honor you here today. Each semester, a graduating senior is invited to address those of us graduated here for commencement. Today's speaker is Scott White. Scott is a chemical engineer with a focus in polymers and materials chemistry. He was born in North Platte, Nebraska, but grew up in Dubuque, Iowa, and graduated from Wallert High School. While attending Iowa, Scott has worked as a teaching assistant in the chemical engineering department and has performed research at the University of Minnesota, the NASA Glenn Research Center, and the Optical Science and Technology Center here at the University of Iowa. Most notably, he worked with Brad Tuft and Professor Alan Guyman to develop biomaterials with hopes of improving the performance of cochlear implants. Scott is most thankful for his family and friends that have supported him so much over the years, along with the great faculty and staff at the University of Iowa. It gives me great pleasure to introduce Scott White. Thank you, Dean Scranton. Been waiting a long time for this day to finally graduate. Um, I can remember being just a little kid and being so excited to become a chemical engineer and looking up to all the famous engineers of the day and seeing all the really amazing things they could do with their you know, mathematics and science skills. But uh, all right, I'm obviously lying. I think when I was a kid, I wanted to be like a Power Ranger or a soccer player or something like that. But I grew up, I grew up, and reality started to hit around high school when my dad started to hint about, you know, getting a job or being an adult and all their boring stuff. So I, uh, I knew I didn't want to work, so I signed up for college. <laughs> and uh, now I want to tell you I'm from Iowa, but uh, I'm afraid you'll just think that I went to high school there and my parents live here. No, uh, uh, my whole family is from Iowa. I mean, just on my mother's side. Her grandfather played baseball here while he was in pharmacy school. Her dad went to dental school here while my grandma was working in Burge. My other grandpa went to medical school here. Both my parents graduate here. My brother, let's see, two cousins graduate here, two go here, four of my aunts, three of my uncles, and now me. And so it's really a long line of the white family that's paid tuition to this school, I guess. <laughs> so. Uh, but, you know, coming into college, like many other engineers, I had what they call it, an, you know, a natural ability in math and sciences. And uh, so I went with engineering. But unlike most, most normal people, I guess, I loved chemistry. And so I decided to go with chemical engineering, which is a decision I would second guess more than once over the next years. And so uh, to, to further appreciate what the, these students have gone through, I want to give a brief description of, you know, one of the lower moments for an engineer. And if you can imagine, you know, sitting in the computer lab late on a Thursday night when most students are maybe out enjoying their lives, and you're stuck staring at a computer screen through these bloodshot eyes, and you just wonder, why are you doing the engineering? And for me, for me the dilemma was, why don't I just do chemistry? You know, I love chemistry, and I don't need the added engineering courses. And there's a lot of reasons for this that we that we stick out through our majors and put through it and go through it to get the final reward. You can take, you know, the simple approach and say, well, I'm paying tuition anyways, I might as well get the best investment. So I want a high paying job, which I wouldn't, which is okay for a start, but not the best use of life decisions. Then you can look a step further and say, well, I want a job that, you know, is rewarding and challenging and provides different opportunities to make a difference in the world something surely engineering can offer. But I think the, most, the best reason to go into engineering is uh, the opportunity to, just to learn things that you can't, you have to be taught from an expert in the field. Some concepts that you can't just read and teach yourself, and then they lead to making you a better person and a better citizen overall. And uh, so for those reasons, and amongst others, uh, we stick it out and we become engineers. And I'm very proud to be amongst this class and it helps me sleep at night knowing that they'll keep this world running more than other people I've met. And so, uh, and so, and, and 
at the same time, to get through those dark days, it really takes a lot of support from family and friends to push through. And so, yeah, I mean, you all should pat yourself on the back, too, to, to, for being here and those other things. And especially, you know, mothers. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. And then, uh, but other than that, I just, I'm, it's a pleasure to be here, and I'm happy to finally graduate. So, thanks. Matthew Boddicker will now come forward to present the Outstanding Graduating Senior Award on behalf of the Engineering Student Council. I brought a few words. I promise this isn't on purpose. <laughs> Engineers are looked to more and more as superheroes ready to save the planet from the environment and ourselves. Uh, and students pursuing this profession submit four to six years of their lives to dedicate themselves to their studies. It is hard, very time consuming, and impossible to tell non-engineering students, mainly because their response is, I'm really glad I didn't go into engineering. <laughs> An outstanding engineering student not only devotes themselves to their studies, but further expands their life out to incorporate work, volunteering, and once in a while some sleep. Uh, this spring's outstanding senior has shown much promise to be an engineer and something more with many internships, including collaboration with international students in different companies. This student has been able to balance a life of studying with volunteering and has already made a positive impact on the world before entering into it. I present the Spring 2012 Outstanding Senior Award to Kayla Camber. I have a plaque. It's shiny. Yeah, Kayla, please come forward. Thank you. I want to extend my congratulations to Kayla for this recognition as well. Congratulations, Kayla. That's <laughs> Some of you may have noticed that several graduates are wearing white stoles on top of their gowns. Would uh, these students please stand? These stoles symbolize students who are part of the National Engineering Honor Society Tau Beta Pi, which was established to recognize engineering students for outstanding scholarship and exemplary character. Um, so, let's recognize these students. Thank you. At this time, I wish to recognize students who have completed an honors project under, under the supervision of a faculty member. As I read your name, please stand and remain standing until all names have been read. First is uh, Jeffrey Moon, a biomedical engineering major from Edina, Minnesota, who completed an honors project entitled Development of Novo Nano Co-Crystal Contrast Agents for Potential Use in Diagnostic Imaging. The project was directed by Associate Professor Ed Dove. James Willey is a biomedical engineering major from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. James completed an honors project entitled Neonate Atlas Development for Brains Tissue Classifier. The project was directed by Professor Vincent Magneta. Sergei Dachin is a chemical engineering major from Kishina, Mold Moldova, uh, and his honors thesis was entitled FBRM C35 particle size measure, measurement, evaluation, and testing. The project uh, was completed under the direction at Gen GenInCore. Karthik Ramachandran is a chemical engineering major from New Delhi, India. Karthik's, Karthik's honors project is entitled The Effect of Glass Transition Temperature and Viscosity on Photopolymerization of Oligomers. Uh, the project was directed by Professor Alex Scranton. 
Scott White, chemical engineering major from Dubuque, Iowa, completed an honors project entitled Tunable Photopolymerized Surface Microfeatures for Spiral Ganglion Neurite Growth and Alignment. The project was directed by Professor Alan Guyman. Luke Smith is a civil engineering student from Iowa City, Iowa. Luke completed an honors project entitled Phytoremediation of Total Extractable Hydrocarbons from Deep Water Crude Oil Using Salt Marsh, salt marsh Grasses for Natural Restoration. The work was directed by Professor Jerry Schnorr. Brian Fiscus is an industrial engineering major from Conrad, Iowa and completed an honors project entitled Measurement of Sleepiness While Driving to Test CPAP Effectiveness. The project was directed by uh, Nizan Axon. Andrew Bennett is a mechanical engineering major from Muscatine, Iowa. Andrew completed an honors project entitled Sustainable Dubuque, Renewable Energy Capacity Mapping. The project was directed by Professor H.S. Uday Kumar. Please join me in congratulating these outstanding students for the extra initiative. All right, the uh, honors graduates may now be seated. Next, we will recognize graduates who have completed the requirements of, of a technological entrepreneurship certificate and a sustainability certificate or a sustainability certificate. As I read your name, please stand. The first two will be entrepreneurship, the second two sustainability. Sergei Dachin, once again, chemical engineering major from Kishina, Moldova. Rebecca Coles, a civil engineering major from Itasca, Illinois. Luke Smith, a civil engineering major from Iowa City, Iowa. And I, I left out Craig Vidal, a biomedical engineering student from Clinton, Iowa. Craig here? So I mixed it up a little bit. The first and last were the entrepreneurship certificates. All right, let's congratulate these students. <laughs> Next, we'll recognize students who achieved distinction for graduating in at least the top 10% of all students at the University of Iowa as measured by the grade point average. Levels of distinction are indicated by stars on the gowns um, and are as follows. Three stars designates highest distinction, which is the top 2% of grade point averages in the university. Two stars designates high distinction, which is the next 3%. And one star designates distinction, uh, the next 5%. Um, so again, as I call your name, please stand and remain standing until everyone, every name has been called. Uh, so with highest distinction, top 2%, Amy Criswell, biomedical engineering student from Iowa Falls, Iowa. Samantha Han Hansen, biomedical engineering major from Keystone, Iowa. Jeffrey Moon, biomedical engineering student from Edina, Minnesota. Kelly McConnell, in chemical engineering major from Iowa City. James Schoenfelder, chemical engineering major from Iowa Falls, Iowa. Scott White, chemical engineering major from Dubuque, Iowa. Benjamin Pratt, electrical engineering major from Naperville, Illinois. Next, we'll move on to high distinction. Sarah Girard, biomedical engineering major from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Deep T. Sherma, biomedical engineering major from Fairfield, Iowa. Paige Zhou, biomedical engineering major from West Des Moines, Iowa. Benjamin Barrent, chemical engineering major from Davenport, Iowa. Karthik Ramachandran, chemical engineering major from New Delhi, India. Alex Potter, civil engineering major from Iowa City, Iowa. And finally, those students graduating with distinction, Jordan Emol, biomedical engineering major from Old Wine, Iowa. Benjamin Kopp, biomedical engineering major from Anita, Iowa. DJ Permis Warren, biomedical engineering major from Lamars, Iowa. Craig Vidal, or Vidal, biomedical engineering major from Clinton, Iowa. Beaming Wu, chemical engineering major from Nanjing, Jiangsu, China. Lu Liu, chemical engineering major from Xiong, Liu, Ning, China. 
Philip Brzezinski, electrical engineering major from Golden Valley, Minnesota. Greg Scranton, electrical engineering major from Coralville, Iowa. Kenneth Herman, mechanical engineering major from Batavia, Illinois. So let's recognize all of these students for their excellent academic achievement. It is with great personal pleasure for me to introduce our commencement speaker today who will give the charge to our graduating seniors. Roger Cook has successfully combined a keen business sense with the engineering skills that he learned here at the University of Iowa. Roger received a BS in chemical engineering in 1977 and began, began a long and productive career. In 1983, Mr. Cook became president and owner of Aircraft Modular Products and under his leadership, the company gained a 90% share of the executive aircraft seating market. In 1998, Cook sold his aircraft interiors company to BE Aerospace, and today his entrepreneurial spirit has taken him to the presidency of Conscious Lighting in Miami, Florida, which specializes in energy-saving light-emitting diodes in collaboration with the second company, Silescent Lighting Corporation, which was also founded by a University of Iowa engineering graduate, uh, Daryl Soderman, who's here today. Roger has stayed engaged in the college and has given generous, generously of his time and resources. Uh, he served as a member of the University of Iowa Chemical and Biochemical Engineering Advisory Board and has given numerous seminars to the college on the topic of entrepreneurship. In 2011, he provided two generous gifts to the college to spark pioneering interdisciplinary research into bipolar disorders and to provide support for the college's Department of Chemical and Biochemical Engineering. Mr. Cook is an inspiration to our graduates and fellow alumni, and without question, Roger has contributed toward engineering achievement, leadership, and service to society at the highest level. We are proud to induct him as the newest member of the college's Distinguished Engineering Alumni Academy, and equally proud to have him deliver the charge to the graduates today. So we'll start by in inducting him into the academy uh, now. So Roger, uh, please, uh, please step forward. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this off because this thing swings in my face, and sometimes I get a little animated when I talk. And I, I'm not singing tonight. The last time I was in front of a microphone, I'd had a couple beers and was singing karaoke. But <laughs> I think we're going to keep it a little more serious today. So, first, let me congratulate the graduating class and your families on the very significant accomplishment of your graduation from the University of Iowa College of Engineering. It's a, a tremendous accomplishment. Many years ago, I too was at this same very important milestone of stepping out into the world of self-sufficiency. I, like you, was prepared for this by the very good education that I received here at the University of Iowa College of Engineering. However, unlike those of you here today, I did not attend my graduation <laughs> I had already taken a job and was unable to attend. So this is a great opportunity for me to attend my first graduation ceremony. I also missed my high school graduation for the same reason. Several of my family members are in the audience, and I'd like to also thank them for attending and lending me their support today as they have done without fail throughout my life. As you, the graduating class, enter the very exciting beginning stages of your careers, I offer up a few pointers. Here they are. Number one, and I know those of you in this class already know this, but I'm gonna say it again. Work hard, it won't hurt you. Most unsuccessful endeavors do not fail from lack of money, they fail from lack of understanding, improper attitudes, and insufficient effort. Number two, as you enter the workforce, proceed with confidence you have been adequately prepared. Three, a job is a great place to learn. 
take every opportunity that presents itself to learn and expand your knowledge and experience at work. Four, set ambitious goals for yourselves. Aim high. If you miss while aiming high, you will still probably achieve more than if you had set, let go, set low goals and met them. And finally, five, many of you will proceed on to management careers, but be more than a manager, be a leader. I was recently discussing the difference between management and leadership with a dear friend, Daryl Soderman, who is sitting over here with my family today. Uh, Daryl's also a U UI graduate, as Dean Scranton mentioned. And Daryl used to work for me in my company, Aircraft Modular Products, many years ago before I sold it. And now Daryl has started uh, two new companies, actually. Um, one is a custom machining business in Miami, and the other is a very exciting LED business. So we were sitting around talking and bouncing off ideas for the topic of this presentation today. And I mentioned the topic of leadership, and Daryl agreed that this was a, a good topic, so I decided to dedicate the rest of this presentation to the topic of leadership. So here goes. A leader, almost by definition, is someone who steps to the front, not someone who hangs back. This is the highest risk but greatest reward position in any group. It takes courage and self-confidence to be a leader. A leader is willing to accept full responsibility for the result achieved by the group, even if that result is failure. A leader must have the technical and management skills necessary for the endeavor, but more importantly, a leader must have the character traits that will inspire confidence and commitment from the team members and from individuals and organizations with whom the team interacts. A leader must always choose the high moral ground. Selfish, irresponsible, or immoral behavior undermines trust. Trust is the true currency of society, even more so than money. A leader must build and maintain trust as a top priority. A leader must understand this and be committed to this, or ultimately the leader will fail. A leader must always show up on time, or in the case of unavoidable circumstances, must have a stand-in trained and ready to go in all circumstances. A leader shows up for every task as fully prepared as possible. A leader understands the preciousness of the time, materials, and intellectual resources that are not his or her own and respects this in dealing with others. A leader is patient, but not too patient. Time is precious, the clock never stops. A plan without a schedule is just a dream. Schedules must be met, if at all possible. A leader never looks to lay blame or make excuses. A leader passes out compliments and credits as earned, saving few for him or herself. A leader does not reward him or herself disproportionately for his or her efforts. A leader sticks to the facts and makes rational decisions, not decisions based on emotions. A leader is ready and able to make decisions, even those that are difficult, but necessary for the success of the endeavor for which he or she is in charge. A leader does the right thing, even if it is not the popular choice. I think most importantly, that a leader must be willing to work harder and sacrifice more than anyone who works for or with him or her. A person with these leadership qualities will have many chances to exercise leadership roles because in all actuality, in our society, there are too few true leaders, yet many leadership positions available. I am sure everyone in this room today knows numerous examples of people in leadership positions who do not possess these simple character traits, attitudes, and abilities. In closing, I encourage each of you to understand what it is to be a true leader and then to step forward and be that leader in your careers and in your social and political activities. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, Roger, for that outstanding advice to our uh, graduates and for your outstanding service to the profession. University of Iowa Executive Vice President and Provost Barry Butler will now confer the Bachelor of Science degrees in engineering to our graduating students.
Will the candidates for degree Bachelor of Science in Engineering please rise? Provost Butler, these candidates, having completed all of the requirements for the degree Bachelor of Science in Engineering, are recommended to you by the faculty of the College of Engineering for conferring this degree. On the recommendation of the faculty of the College of Engineering and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents, State of Iowa, I confer on each of you the degree Bachelor of Science in Engineering as qualified and designated. Congratulations. Graduates may now be seated. Now we will individually recognize the recipients of the Engineering Baccalaureate degrees. Provost Butler will join me in offering our congratulations to each graduate. The graduates will also receive a small gift, symbolic of the accomplishments of this day. Feel free to applaud each graduate as they are recognized. Jane Dorman will introduce each degree candidate individually. She is the College of Engineering's Director of Admissions and First Year Experience, and she met many of these students when they joined the college, or even before they joined the college, and has mentored many of them through the years. Therefore, it's particularly fitting that she will introduce them as they receive their degrees here at commencement. Will the candidates for degrees in biomedical engineering please rise and assemble on this side of the platform? Professor Vigmastad is representing the biomedical engineering program. Julia Ahmad. Sue Ellen Ahmed. Stephen Bading. Austin Bell. Samantha Brandell with a minor in human physiology. Betsy Campbell. Amy Criswell, with highest distinction and a minor in business administration.
Allison Eagle. Omar El Hassan. David Ellis with a minor in Spanish. Miles Flem Weiss. Sarah Gerard with high distinction. <laughs> Jessica Hansen. Samantha Hansen with highest distinction and a minor in mathematics. Derek Hornberg with a minor in mathematics. Melissa Jensen. Jordan Emol with distinction. Asa Daniel Klein. Kristen Knudsen. Heather Koenigs. Benjamin Kopp with distinction. Anthony Kowiakowski. Zach Latham. Juan Lee. <laughs> Jessica McDermott with a minor in mathematics. Patrick McKinney with a minor in business administration. Mahmoud Mitwali. Jeffrey Moon with highest distinction, with honors, and with a minor in mathematics. Gregory Mulligan. Emily Northup. Vijay Nils Permiswaran with distinction and a minor in mathematics. Grant Preeb. <laughs> Stacy Quam with a second major in mechanical engineering and a minor in mathematics. We did Rawabi. <laughs> Owen Sessions with a second major in psychology. <laughs> Deepti Sharma with high distinction. Eric Stanton with a minor in computer science. Woo! 
Christy Steffens with a minor in anthropology. Jenny Velu Cheney. Craig Vidal with distinction. Michael Wachel. Sophia Wahid. Andrew Weir. James Willie with honors and a minor in chemistry. Paige Zoe with high distinction and a second major in music arts. Department Executive Officer David Merhammer will represent the chemical and biochemical engineering program. Sasha Abdallah with a minor in chemistry. Derek Berenwald with a second major in biochemistry and minors in mathematics, Spanish, and chemistry. Kelly Barnett with a minor in chemistry. Benjamin Joseph Barrent with high distinction and a minor in chemistry. Jacob Brandenburg. Nate Brimeyer with a minor in chemistry. Jesse Calderon with a minor in chemistry. Jessica Carlson with minors in chemistry, mathematics, and business. Hong Chow with a minor in business administration and a minor in chemistry. Jae Hyun Cho. Sergey Dachin with honors, minors in psychology, mathematics, and chemistry. Jocelyn Dixon with minors in chemistry and Spanish. Jordan Esslinger. Jordan Jernak with minors in business administration and chemistry. Calvin Luzum with a minor in chemistry. Kelly McConnell with highest distinction. Andy McGinnis with minors in chemistry and mathematics. Michael McKinsey with a minor in chemistry. Andrew Myers with a minor in chemistry.
Abby Marie New with a minor in Spanish. Karthik Ramachandran with high distinction and honors. Jacob Robbins with a minor in chemistry. Jameson Schoenfelder with highest distinction with minors in business administration and chemistry. Michael Seely with minors in chemistry and mathematics. Austin Swartz with minors in business administration and chemistry. Michael Torson. Samantha Weber with minors in chemistry and mathematics. John Whalen with a minor in chemistry. Scott White with highest distinction, honors, and minors in chemistry and mathematics. Joshua Weeman with a minor in business administration. Thanks. Biming Wu with distinction and a minor in chemistry. Department Executive Officer Michelle Scherer is representing the Civil and Environmental Engineering Program. Franklin Adler. Adam Barnett. Stephen Brown. Jonathan Camparisi. Russell Carlson. Robert Cassiello. Grant Goldsmith. William Hilkin. George Hoyos. Zachary Eady. Rebecca Colas with a sustainability certificate and a minor in environmental science. Kent Cruzy with a minor in business administration. Leonard Larson. Carly Lindner. Matthew Litwin. Le Leo with distinction. John Masaglia. Samir Michael. Mary Nielsen. Ian Nielsen.
Joe Olson with a minor in economics. John Perkins with a minor in music. Sean Plenner. Alex Potter with high distinction and a minor in business administration. Riley Quinn. Theodore Schmidt. Jason Scholbrock. David Selna. Ryan Sykes. Luke Smith with a sustainability certificate and a minor in international studies. Paige Christine Stevens. Karen Michelle Tigges. Corey Westfall. Ryan Wright. <laughs> Professor Gary Christensen is representing the Electrical and Computer Engineering Program. Clarence Bartenhagen with minors in Computer Science and Mathematics. Phil Brzezinski with Distinction. Alexander Brodsky with minors in computer science and mathematics. Ryan Daly with a minor in computer science. Kyle Faley with a minor in business administration. Alex Gerard with minors in computer science and mathematics. Paul Haugen with minors in computer science and mathematics. Ashley Jo Jindrich. Richard Lehman with a second major in computer science. David Lindner with a minor in mathematics. Benjamin Pratt with highest distinction and a minor in mathematics. Greg Scranton with distinction and minors in mathematics and physics. <laughs> Theodore Chinners with minors in computer science and mathematics. Matthew Sitter with a minor in mathematics. Akant Turani with minors in business administration and computer science.
Ian Tenney with a minor in computer science. Brandon Wagner with minors in computer science and mathematics. Devin Wagner with a minor in mathematics. Scott Winger. Jean Yu with minors in computer science and mathematics. Department Executive Officer Andrew Kuziak will represent the mechanical and industrial engineering programs. Lena Abu El Haja with minors in business administration and mathematics. Paul Beckman with a minor in cinema and comparative literature. Justice Biwat. Michael Carroll with a minor in psychology. Brian Fiscus with honors and a minor in business administration. Kimberly Floss with a minor in psychology. Joseph Gent with a minor in mathematics. Darren Hoover. Austin Hull with a minor in business administration. Levi James with a minor in business administration. Kayla Camber with a minor in business administration. Alyssa Kopke with a minor in psychology. Kevin Lindenberg with a minor in business administration. Miao Lu. Matthew Meyer with a minor in business administration. Tim Meyer with a minor in mathematics. Marco Prada Rodriguez. Janie Risey with a minor in business administration. Michael Wall with a minor in Spanish. Victor Weiss. And finally, the mechanical engineering graduates. Eric Baez with minors in business administration and mathematics. Joseph H. Beetlespacher with a minor in mathematics. Oh, 
Samantha Bell. Andrew Bennett with honors and a second major in Spanish and Portuguese and a minor in mathematics. Kyle Bauner with a minor in mathematics. Brandon Bauska. Dustin Calkins with minors in business administration, computer science, and mathematics. Henry Carlson with a minor in mathematics. Jason Chase. Juan Correa with a minor in business administration. Ryan Detweiler. Drew DeZeo with a minor in mathematics. Matthew DeVerti with minors in business administration and mathematics. Joseph Enright with a minor. In mathematics. Roger Felling. Keith Flaherty with a minor in mathematics. Patrick Gleason with a minor in mathematics. Ryan Gleason with a minor in business administration. Haley Goslinga with a minor in mathematics. Trent Henderson with a minor in business administration. Thank you. Thank you. Kenneth Herman with distinction and a minor in mathematics. Stephanie Jones. Nathan Malkert. Zach Meyer with minors in business administration and mathematics. Ricky Murtha with minors in environmental science, geography, and mathematics. Corey Nelson with minors in mathematics and Spanish and Portuguese. Nicholas Pace with minors in business administration and mathematics. Nicholas Piplani with a minor in business administration. Keegan Rathi with a minor in mathematics. Jordan Rolfs with a minor in mathematics. Carson Rumpf with a minor in mathematics.
Christopher Ryan with a minor in business administration and a minor in math. Spencer Sophie with a minor in mathematics. Michael Spears with a minor in business administration. Jacob Walliser with a minor in mathematics. Luke Robluski. Please join me in congratulating everyone for their hard work and accomplishments. It seems, it seems like just a minute or two ago that I met all of you as we began this adventure we call Engineering at Iowa. I know I speak for others in the college when I say that we have enjoyed immensely the opportunity to spend these years with this wonderful group of people. I wish you all the best. Keep in touch. There's a few other groups I think we should recognize, and especially since uh, tomorrow is Mother's Day, but I hear from the graduates all the time, given the rigors of the engineering curriculum, that the support of their family, their parents, their friends is very important. Let's start by recognizing first mothers, then fathers, then the rest of the friends so, uh, that are here today. But uh, let's acknowledge the support of, of our parents, first of all. So please rise if you're a, a parent of a grad. All parents, grandparents, please. Now, if you're the friend, the friend or other uh, significant uh, other for uh, a graduate, why don't you rise and be uh, recognized as well? I guess they already were. And there's an, another group that uh, is uh, important, and the University of Iowa is a, um, a university that's very supportive of veterans. So let me start by asking. Are there any graduates today that are veterans? If so, please rise. Yes, there are. Please rise. Okay. And also, any audience members who are veterans, please. Anyone in the audience who's a veteran? Okay. All right. Finally, graduates have one last assignment, and it's going to be one more opportunity to celebrate. Graduates, please turn your tassels to the left side of your caps. You're now officially alumni of the University of Iowa College of Engineering. Graduates, I want to say that as engineers, you're equipped to make essential contributions to this nation and to the world. You have a responsibility to bring your talents, understanding, and expertise to bear on the problems facing the world, and I hope that you'll be guided by the highest ethical standards with great respect for our environment and a genuine commitment to human values. We wish you the greatest of success throughout your career. And uh, this concludes our program. Uh, thank you all for joining us uh, here today.